And so last night, I actually got up and I wrote these words and, and I just want to show them with you. And it's about the Samaritan woman that Jesus meets at the well and how he speaks her, her truth. He, he speaks to her about what she's been and what she's done and where, who she is. And this woman has been married you know, a few times and the man that she's with right now is not even her husband and, the, and Jesus tells her these things and, and tells her you know, about her life. And um, the Bible doesn't really say what series of events happened in her life that led her to where she is today, where, to where she is there at, the, at this time in the Bible. Uh, what happened that led her to be married several times and feel that she can only be filled um, through with men, you know, and, and have a husband that's not even hers. Like, what happened to her? What is her story? And we don't know that. And uh, a lot of times we do that. We see people out in public or we hear about people and we don't even call them by name. But yet when we speak about them, we say, oh, that's the woman that's been married five times and has, you know, children from different men. Or that's the guy that can't keep a job. Or that's the, the girl that can't commit to her relationship. You know, all we see is the surface and we begin to judge and point fingers and we don't really know their story. You know what happened to that mom at Walmart that has you know all these kids and they're barefooted and it seems like she's not paying attention to them like what happened what is her story what is the root of her story that has led her through all these series of events that has led her to where she is today something must have happened and we don't know that story but Jesus does Jesus knows your story and let me share a little bit about my story um, Early on in our in our marriage, my husband and I decided to start our family. Never in a million years did we plan to have any struggles with our pregnancies. That was not in our plans. And nobody plans that. Nobody plans to have a miscarriage. Nobody has plans to have a premature baby. Nobody plans to have two miscarriages. And that's what we went through. We went through th two miscarriages and a premature baby that just really left a void in my spirit and in my heart. And so Although I covered it very well with a smile, inside there was this void that was leading me to feel certain feelings um, in my life and, and uh, leaving me to feel unfulfilled as a mother and as a wife. Like there was, it, was, it affected me. Three years down the road was still affecting me. And it wasn't until I had that personal encounter with Jesus that he healed me from the root. Because what was happening was that Years down the road, I was having these issues of unfulfillment and unaccomplishment and unqualified in that area of motherhood and, and as a wife. And so it, it would manifest in that and I would find areas to try to fill that void and it would turn into resentment against my husband or his job because I felt lonely. And so it manifested into that and I was uh, spiritually dying inside. And uh, I wonder, you know, how many people are going through this where there is a root, something that happened early on in their lives, whether maybe somebody told them that they weren't good enough and now they can't keep a job because they believe those words and it's, it's led them to a series of events that has led them to be that father that can't keep a job and can't support his family. What is his story? We don't know it, but Jesus does. And we don't know the story of, you know, the mom that, that complains about her job all the time because there's something in the past that maybe she did not fulfill because somebody told her or her mother told her, you're crazy, you will never, you know, be who you want to be. Just stick, stick to this, um, just go to school and get your college degree and you'll be fine. But yet, and she left her passion and now she's a complainer and she complains about her job because there's something happened down the road. You know, what is your story? What is this woman's story, the one that Jesus waited for her by the well? What is her story? We don't know it. But we do know that she, she had five husbands and the one she was with was not even her husband. And we know that Jesus knows her, her story because he spoke it to her. And we know that he revealed to her that he was the fount of living water. And when Jesus, when I had my personal encounter with Jesus, he healed me from the root. You know, that void that I had after losing two babies that I named and held and could not take home. That void 
Jesus filled because he is the fount of living water. And the word of God speaks life into you. It speaks life. It brings you back to life. And as I began to read his word, my spirit began to breathe again. And I realized that Jesus is the word made flesh. And the word speaks life. Jesus is the fount of living water, just like he said. And it never, ever runs dry. So I just want to shoot uh, to share that with you today because um, we don't know the story of other people. And instead of um, pointing fingers and begin to judge, maybe we should be that Jesus personality and and uh, speak life into these people that are hurting somehow. They're not there because they want to be like that. Something happened down the road in the early on in their lives that has led them to where they are today. It's kind of like a leak in your house. Have you ever had a leak in your house and you call a repairman and they check the leak and they go up to your roof and they check all your roof and they find a leak and they tell you, okay, the leak is coming from you know the laundry room. There's a hole on the roof that the birds have pecked through and the water's coming in. And you're wondering, well, why is the leak over here in the kitchen? Why is it coming through the kitchen? See, what happens is there's beams underneath, underneath your roof and the, tra the water travels and is released over here. And that's what happens in our lives. We have something happened to us in our life in this area, you know, whether somebody told you you weren't good enough or you had a, a, a broken heart or somebody lied to you, you were let down, you were disappointed. And throughout the years, it just manifests and gets released in this area of your life. And uh, that's what people see on the surface. They see the mom that's been married three times. They see the kid that's uh, addicted to drugs. They see the, the, the man that can't commit. They see that, that on the surface. But see, Jesus sees beyond that. See, he sees deeper than that. He sees the root of where you need the healing. And so... If we can just bring that to Jesus and allow him to begin to heal us, everything else will be released. And it reminds me of the story where they bring a deaf man to Jesus and he can't speak because he can't hear. And Jesus sticks his finger in his ear and then holds his tongue and, and says, be opened. He opens his ear and the moment he opened his ear, his tongue was released. That was healed. And a lot of times that's how God will heal us. He'll heal the root in our lives that what caused the pain that what caused the disappointment what caused the the um feeling of, of neglect what caused that he'll heal that and then everything else will be released everything else changes around your life and it'll it'll just change and transform you and your spirit will begin to breathe and you can and you, you're just complete you're just a completely different person the person that god had called you to be and so i just wanted to share that with you um, my, little, my story about um, losing two pregnancies and um, holding my babies and not, know, not knowing that I would not bring them home and how that really broke me. And my premature baby who's now 11 years old and she's amazing and how that broke me. And, and um, there's more to this story but I don't want to make this video super long. I just want to let you know that Jesus knows your story and he's waiting for you at the well to heal you from the root so that everything else in your life is released that's been, that's been affected by that one moment in your life. So be blessed and have a wonderful Friday. I'm going to have a great weekend with my family. I hope you do too. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.